Hey Virgo, welcome to Queen Arabin and Tarot. Today we are going to do your beginning of September general love reading. Now keep in mind these are general readings, which means they cannot possibly apply to every single person that's watching. But if you would like a personal reading, all of the information will be in the description box below. In case you're new to the channel, welcome. Come on in. And in case you're returning, thank you for joining me again today. And I hope that everyone is doing well. So Virgo, and I want to say Scorpio, and I'm going to tell you guys, I'm going to put this out here before it even pops up because I feel like it will. You guys have very strong water sign energy in your pre-shuffle, specifically Scorpio. Could be Cancer because you also have the Chariot, um, Cancer, um, or Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising. Yeah, you guys had all the major arcana. So you had the Death card, that's Scorpio. You had the Chariot, that's Cancer, and then you guys had the Moon, which is Pisces. So you guys had all the major arcana for water. So this is... Either you're dealing with someone who has strong water sign placement, specifically their sun, because when I get major iconics, that's either a sun sign or a time frame. Or you guys are dealing with a lot of emotional situations because it's involving water, which is the feelings and emotions. So this will, you know, you'll put it where it resonates with your situation. Um, but more than anything, I feel like there's going to be some major changes for a lot of you all. In your love life, I'm seeing a lot of baby making energy. That's the number one thing I've seen, baby making energy. Baby making energy. I feel like everybody having sex with me. Okay. Like the last three readings, there's a lot of sexual energy in it. Everybody having sex with me, huh? Queen Air Brenda can't have sex. Okay. Whatever. Not mind. Don't worry about it. So when I was meditating with you guys' energy, the song that I heard was Love Come Down by Evelyn Champagne. Um, what is it? Evelyn Champagne King. That's her name. Her, you know, her name is Champagne. So I'll leave the link to the song in the description box below so you can listen to it following the reading if you so choose to. What's so interesting about that is that this is you guys' birthday month or birthday season rather. So happy birthday to all the Virgos out there in case you guys didn't know I am a Virgo rising. So that's why I said, how come out? Everybody have a sex with me. I'm a Virgo rising. Tag me in, y'all. But, um, what I'm picking up with this is very strongly, first of all, especially for September, September Virgos, you guys got a lot of stuff going on. Some of you all may find out that you're pregnant. Some of you all already found out you're pregnant. I'm telling you, I feel like you guys are enjoying the baby making energy, but was not really expecting to make a baby. Somebody's gonna find out they're pregnant, and I feel like you're not gonna be very happy about it. Because I had the nine of swords, right? Nine of swords is that sleepless nights, feeling overwhelmed in your head a lot. Um feeling distraught, feeling overwhelmed with something, a lot of anxiety. And you know, that's what I'm saying. I feel like someone is going to find out that they're pregnant. And this, especially if you're dating someone and this is newer, I feel like that's where, cause I'm hearing devastation. That's where the devastation could be coming in. Cause you're like, Oh my God, it's too soon to be pregnant by this person or too soon for this person to be pregnant by me. Okay. I'm telling you, I'm, I keep getting a lot of sexual energy, a lot. And if it makes a lot of sense, cause it's you guys birthday season, right? So you're celebrating now going back to, the the singer's name right evelyn champagne king champagne toast i'm hearing because i'm hearing i'm hearing what's this song um champagne life by neo like you guys are out celebrating your birthday really enjoying the festivities i'm telling you somebody's gonna come back home drunk and have drunken sex and i feel like somebody's gonna let caution go to the wind and that's how somebody's gonna end up pregnant i'm not wishing it on you if that's not what you want but i'm telling you i'm picking it up for somebody because i got a lot of strong sexual energy in you guys pre-shuffle okay so let's see what we get for you guys today again because i know people always ask me about the songs just go in the description box up under the video click it and it'll go directly to the video okay so let's go ahead and part the deck change the card at the top and the bottom this card wants to stick out so let's see what it is <laughs> five ooh, and i'm not trying to be funny but i'm gonna tell you right now somebody is thinking about having an abortion i'm just seeing the five of swords and i just heard chop shop I, I'm not saying I support, I'm against whatever. I'm just telling you, I'm hearing it very strongly. Also, because I've seen the nine of swords earlier in your pre-shuffle, some of you all can definitely be dealing with the air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Again, you have very strong water, but it could be an air sign also. Um, this could cause some type of conflict. And I did pick up in you guys pre-shuffle. Also, some of you all have an option between two different people. Or your person, someone that you're dealing with has an option. Somebody has an option between two people. And it may cause some type of arguments and, and disagreements because also in the pre-shuffle, I've seen the five of wands. So you have two fives back to back and both of these are cards of conflict, disagreement leading to someone walking away. And I'm just, I'm, again, I know this could be a heavy message. I'm just being honest with what I'm picking up. There could be some conflict about someone saying, I don't want to have a baby. I want to get an abortion or, you know, I'm getting that. Because I feel like you two, you know, if you notice right here, you have two bow and arrows and they're crossed like this. And you have two swords on the side and they're crossed like this. And then you have this person in the middle. 
you two are opposing to this situation about what to do moving forward, especially when it comes to a pregnancy. I'm just getting that, okay? So here we're going to change the card at the top and the bottom, okay? And then we're going to jump into your reading. So now currently at the bottom of the deck, you got the Ace of Pentacles. Um, aces, all aces are a brand new star. Something is, especially with Pentacles, long lasting, a solid foundation moving forward, celebrating this new journey with someone. So some of you all are happy about the situation and others I feel like not so much. Um, someone is showering you with their attention. And again, this is your energy because this is Virgo, right? I feel like a lot of you all are finally, you feel like this may be a very abundant birthday for you because you feel like you've been on a journey for a while to success and achievement and obtainment. And I feel like this is going to be a very prosperous um, solar return for you all also is what I'm getting. Some of you all could be getting gifts, monetary, very physically, like money, monetary gifts on your actual birthday. You also have someone who's going to travel to come see you for your birthday as well is what I'm getting, Okay. So let's go ahead and shuffle the deck upright a few times until we get you guys Major Arcana, which will be the Hermit. We will get the card that comes before and the card that comes after, and then we'll get clarifiers for both, okay? So let me just change this again. I'm just being guided to... Yep, Eight of Wands, fast-moving communication is coming out of the blue, something unexpected. Again, I'm going to say for some of y'all, you're getting some unexpected news about a pregnancy. I'm just getting that. I'm really getting that. And then some of you all could be dealing with a Leo specifically. You have a strength card, major kind of for Leo. And then you have the eight of wands. And we did just leave Leo season, August, the end of August, okay? Um, yeah, somebody could have got some unexpected news in Leo season or at the very end of Leo season or from a Leo person. Something unexpected, I really feel like, because again, that's fast moving communication. Something that's coming out of the blue, unexpected. And it's coming quickly. Also, I'm getting that somebody, like I said, somebody could be traveling to come see you for your birthday. Some of you all's birthday could be in the next eight days as well. And when I said that the time was 6.55, so this is definitely on point for someone out there. Okay, so let's go ahead and go through the deck and find you guys Major Arcana. Again, it will be the Hermit. And then a card that comes before and a card that comes after. For Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rise, and Venus individuals. Yeah, I'm telling you. Now, I did say water, right? Scorpio, strong Scorpio, strong Cancer. Now, look what you, somebody's coming towards you guys. So, the card that comes right in front of, and wow, look at that. What did I tell you guys? Nine of Swords. So, some information is coming towards you guys that may make a little, a few of you all feel a little distraught is what I'm getting. Look at this energy. Sleepless nights, feeling overwhelmed. Some information is definitely coming in towards you because you see how you have that white owl fly, flying towards her. Owl, spirit and animal talks about, um... Hidden knowledge, some messages, some type of hidden um, truths coming in is coming right towards her. And it's something that makes her feel a little distraught, you know? Okay? So the card in front of it is just, like I said, the chariot. And look how he's looking directly at the chariot. Some of you all could definitely be dealing with a cancer individual. Also, um, if you already gave birth, your child could be a cancer. Also, like I said, somebody's coming. Someone's traveling towards you to come celebrate your birthday with you. Someone who lives out of town. The card that you have, yep, the card that you have behind it is the three of wands. Also right behind that, you have the page of swords, someone who's keeping tabs, I spy, five of pentacles behind that, someone feels left out in the cold. Got a lot of five stuff here, and fives is challenging. And I always tell you guys, look what's right up under that. I always tell you guys, with this card, it makes me think about a couple decorating a nursery. I don't know why I always just get that, but then I feel like somebody one of you all is excited about this and then someone else is not someone's like you know what i'm gonna get up out of here and somebody's trying to figure out what this person is thinking i'm gonna say again some of y'all could definitely be dealing with an air sign gemini Libra, aquarius i feel like if you're dealing with an air sign this person may not believe that you're pregnant or this person may be a little distraught or upset that you're pregnant because look at his facial expression this person does not look very happy they may tell you to get abortion because you see how he has a sword in his hand Somebody is not happy about the situation. I'm telling you that right now, especially with this energy. I always tell you guys, sword up, yes, sword down. No, these swords are down. So if you're dealing with an air sign individual, this person may not be happy about it, okay? So you have the chariot, and then you have the three of wands, okay? Three of wands are looking towards the future, waiting for their ships to come in. Also, someone has turned their back on a situation. That gives me very much the vibe of the five of pentacles, I'm going to tell you overall what I'm getting right here is that some information is coming in towards somebody and someone needs to make a decision about how they're going to move forward because the three of wands definitely talks about moving forward and forward movement. Both both of these are talking about forward movement. Someone's needing to decide what they're going to do moving forward. 
I'm just looking at, you know, you have three wands here, but he's holding on to one specifically, and there's two, one on each side. And I said again, for some of you all, someone has a choice between two people. Someone could be moving forward with a um, cancer specifically. Let's see what we get for you guys, okay? Bottom of the deck, <laughs> you got three of pentacles again. We just seen that in the pre-shuffle there. Three of pentacles. You got a lot of three energy here, okay? Um, I'm going to say with this three of pentacles, you know that talks about working together, building together, moving forward, working in, in unison. Somebody is definitely planning a future with someone. Oh, and then I'm here a shotgun wedding. And it's interesting because when I'm thinking about shotguns, like just getting in the car and rolling to Vegas and getting married, this almost looks like a couple here with their marriage contract. And you see how this looks like a, um, what do you call it? Not a temple. Like those church, but it's another name for it. I can't think of it, but the, the church doors. Like somebody may say, you know, if I'm pregnant, let's get married. And that's why someone may be the five of pentacles and wanting to move out of a situation because they feel like it's happening. Everything's happening too fast because the chariot moves quickly. Because even if you look at his facial expression right here, it doesn't look like he's very happy about whatever was being said, you know? Let's see what we get for you guys, okay? We're going to part the deck randomly. Yeah, somebody has to take a minute to um, meditate over this. I'm, again, I'm going to say you guys got a lot of three energy here, okay? So you got the four swords, but right over his chest area, there's three. Three pentacles, three wands. Something is... Something could definitely be going down. And I don't feel like it's going to be the next three days. I feel like this is going to go down the next few months. I feel like this is going to go down within the next three days. Because you keep getting these threes over and over again. I feel like something is going to go down during you guys' um, birthday season. Definitely within the next three days for someone. Or three days after your birthday. Is what I'm getting. I feel like whatever the case is going to happen before um, Virgo season. It's over. Some of y'all are definitely doing a little Playboy, okay? Because you have the, pay, the Knight of Wands, this Playboy Playgirl. So in here for a good time, not a long time, hot and cold. And then you have Three of Pentacles in reverse, and he's riding right towards it. So for some of y'all, you are finding out that this person has put you in a third-party situation. I feel like somebody's... I don't care what anyone says. Somebody's getting pregnant. And if you're not of the age group to get pregnant, then I feel like somebody could just be really immature, very childish. Or could have a child that they did not tell you about. Because I'm getting that also like some type of secret. I'm hearing one more shuffle. Somebody's hiding something. Because I keep seeing the moon. And I'm not seeing that here in a pre-shuffle. But I keep seeing. And just as I said that, I just see the moon. Yeah, somebody's not telling someone something. Okay. Bottom of the deck you have. And again, I mentioned that I seen the death card earlier. Now you have a death card in reverse. So I'm going to say this, Okay. The death card that talks about a sure and certain ending. Again, you could be dealing with a Scorpio individual. But in reverse, there's, there's a lack of an ending. And if you notice right here, there's a ship, a new ship coming in before this ship has completely left the picture. So again, I feel like what the secret is, is for someone, especially if you're dealing with someone new, they're starting something new with you before a situation has even ended with someone else. And I know it hasn't ended because you have the death card in reverse. Especially if their person is a Scorpio Especially sun sign because, you know, or the moon because you do have it in reverse. So let's get a clarifier for the three of wands. Make sure you're paying attention to the shuffles. Clarify for the three of wands for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus individuals. Okay, they all flip down, so I'm going to keep shuffling. That flipped up quickly. So, yeah, this person is not really single for someone because the nine of pentacles is single woman, single man. You have it in reverse. Okay, there's that damn three again. You got nine, but right behind her is three. Something, somebody's putting someone in a third party situation. Okay, look at this. <laughs> I can't make this up. And as the that stopped right here, you got three of wands and it's upright. You got three of wands again. Somebody's putting someone in a third party situation. Look at that. Hey, man, in reverse at the bottom. So your clarifier at the very top is the Knight of Pentacles. The Knight of Pentacles is the slowest moving knight in the whole entire deck of tarot. But once it gets to its destination, it comes with something of value. Um, I feel like what I'm getting is valuable information. Like someone is finding out that someone is not single. And this is why someone, yeah, because remember we had the, um, trying to find it, the Knight of Swords multiple times. Swords is truth, clarity, knowledge, and wisdom. Um, mental, also communication. And again, those swords are down. So something that was hidden from you that you weren't finding out about, somebody's bringing you some type of valuable information about a person that you're dealing with. 
oh my, how this story has changed. Okay, bottom of the deck, like I said, the hangman. Now, upright, there's someone who's not seeing the situation for what it clearly is. And remember, I said I've seen this also in you guys pre shuffle Piscean, also Aquarius energy, major arcana. So, that's a definite energy. Someone's still stuck in something, or at least they. I feel like someone's still stuck in something, but you're, you didn't know about it, right? But I feel like you're getting ready to find out. Because upright, this person is not seeing something for what it truly is, but in reverse, you see how there's like this halo around someone's head. Someone can find out the truth about a situation. And somebody's still in a, in a situation with someone. And I'm really going back to this, right? There's one new ship coming in, and then there's a ship sailing. So someone is... They may have told this person or this part, them and their person may be on eye in eye at odds or something like that, but it's not completely done, I don't feel like. They're taking their sweet and precious time to end this situation, possibly because of finances. They may have joint assets with this person. Or they may not have somewhere to live. Hmm. Okay. Let's get a clarify for the chariot. Make sure you're paying attention to the shuffles. Okay. If too many flipped ups, I'm gonna keep shuffling. Uh, you did have a ten of wands in reverse, dropping a heavy burden. Definitely could possibly be involved in a fire sign. Leo, Sag, Aries, Summer, Rise, and Venus. But somebody feels as though they want to drop a heavy burden. Somebody's definitely... I feel like a lot of you all need to protect yourself. Because, again, he's head to toe in armor. Knights are either going into battle or coming out of battle. Again, head to toe in armor. Armor does what? It protects you. Some of you all may need to protect yourself from someone who is putting you in a third party. Is what I'm getting first and foremost. And then also, yeah, whatever somebody's offering you or whatever is, is being given to you, you may not want it. Because um, pages are always messages. Somebody coming in with some communication, some type of message. And I feel like you may get a message that's coming out of the blue very quickly at you. Especially, I feel I'm just really getting... In regards to some type of pregnancy. Again, if you are not of childbearing age, it could be that whoever this person was, you thought that they were a king or a queen, but they're just a page. This person, again, could be young-minded because pages are young, a little immature, especially in reverse. And something that they do may come in very quickly and catch you off guard unexpectedly about their behavior. I don't know. I keep getting, I'm just hearing the way this water splash, like somebody's water is breaking. But if you notice right here, both of these are of your elements. So unless you're dealing with a fellow earth sign, it just looks like a lot of you guys, whatever someone is trying to offer, you may be finding out the truth about it. Some type of truth is coming in quickly and you're not happy about it. But I'm going to tell you again, I do feel like something sexual in nature is going on. Bottom of the deck, you got the king of swords. Again, sword up yes, sword down no. So you're going to find out the truth about something. And I'm hearing that somebody was trying to sit on the truth. They didn't want you to know. Also, pay attention. I keep saying you guys got a lot of three stuff here, right? You have to look at everything in the picture. Right over his head, you got one, two, three butterflies. Okay? It's right over his head. So it's like it's it's almost like this is this situation is right up under your nose. I feel like you're gonna find out the truth. Again, because that sword is up. You're gonna find out the truth about the situation. And I'm getting also that this person, they're using sexual charms to be alluring. But I feel like a lot of you all are getting ready to see it for what it is and you're going to turn it down. Like, mm, you're not offering much. Because again, this is a page, not a king, not a queen. They don't have much to offer. Not even upright. They don't have much to offer. It's, this pinnacle is only so big, you know. And I, I feel like a lot of you all, some, some truth is going to come rushing in towards you very quickly. And this may sound sad or heavy because, right, you guys, this is your birthday season, so you want to hear good news. But I feel like this is actually a blessing in disguise because it allows you to avoid, you know, some bullshit. And it allows you to cut a situation off before it even gets too deep. You know what I mean? Because, again, I'm going back to where we stopped at right here. Page of Swords, that's the I spy, someone keeping tabs, someone keeping a watchful eye on the situation. I feel like you're going to find out doing some type of research, investigations. Somebody's doing something sneaky. It's going to come at you very quickly. And you're definitely being told to protect yourself, yourself you know. Because you see how he's holding this pinnacle. You see how he's offering this pinnacle. It's like somebody's trying to offer you something, but eh, it's a third party involved in this scenario. It's, it's, it's another player in this situation is what I'm getting. Even if you were with somebody for, okay, so I'm going to tell you right now, if you were with this person for three 
three years. No more than three years. This person definitely could be dealing with a third party also. That's what I'm getting. But again, you're going to find out some truth before Virgo season ends. That's a guarantee. I'm, I'm getting that very strongly. You guys are going to find something out before your season ends. Again, this is I don't feel like this is a bad thing. I feel like it's good that you're finding this out because it's going to keep you from jumping into something thinking it's more than what it is when this person really does not have much to offer because they're still dealing with another situation that has not even cleared yet. I feel like I'm hearing that this hasn't cleared yet is what I'm getting, okay? So Virgo, someone rising to Venus individuals, as always, I'm going to ask that you continue to like, share, and subscribe. And until next time, take care. Bye.